what's up y'all um it's been a while appreciate uh, appreciate you guys for watching if you guys follow me on instagram then you guys would know that i got rid of my forerunner and i got myself a gx470 and uh main reason is because i want to definitely like take a camping and i want to go off-roading and being in the snow like i can't even drive through the snow and i like, go in blizzards without chains and it was just a whole thing so i decided to get rid of my foreigner and buy myself a gx470 and today i'm hyped i'm finally installing my own suspension today uh with the help of my homies uh louie and brian my my suspension everything just been in here for like a, a week waiting for the right time to do it and it's the right time so I'm rocking the three inch Dobinson uh, IMS suspension lift with up front, comfort springs up front and uh, medium springs in the back with, I bought uh, some Freedom Off-Road upper control arms. I got new bump stops from uh, Wheeler's Off-Road. I got the airbag conversion kit from um, Southern Saw Off-Road and my metal, sorry, not metal, the rubber top hats or for whatever they're called the rubber isolators from from iron man 4x4 so here's the lexus gx 70 so only things that i've done is got some 285 Falcon wall peaks And I just blacked out the grill and I restored the headlights. But other than that, it is stock. Um, I also built a bed for the back, but that's not installed yet. Just to go camping. So 30 minutes later. There's Brian. gonna start with the rear because it's a little bit easier and we're missing a little bit of tools for the front that we're gonna go get right now so getting the rear first Unclip this right here. All right, I am a total noob at this. I'm not a mechanic. Never worked on a car before. <laughs> but we're installing suspension, so if I can do it, you guys can do it. And here's a new one. We got the Dobinson IMS 3 inch lift. Now, these two. You can see, taking these two off on uh, both sides. So, there is the thing that holds the air in there. You can see it right there. You gotta get rid of it. So there's an air hose uh, line up here that you just gotta <laughs> remove. We decided to remove it from the actual compressor. Right there. So 
was just one side that we had to do? It's two it's sides. both sides. Because we couldn't find the the hose because it was like tucked underneath, so we... I guess you just separate these two. And you just pull the hose out. There you go. On that side. So this top one is for the passenger, this bottom one is driver. No, no, no. this one's is driver. Oh, just kidding. So this one's driver, this one's passenger. And that is literally this one. So I was doing it in front of the school, right here, because, you know, they don't use this gate, and they called the cops on me. So, told me I had 30 minutes to put it back where it came from, so, or they'll tow it. So, just, now it's in here. While he's trying to do that, we're just gonna replace our bump stops with new ones. I got these from Wheelers Off Road. There goes the air suspension. So now we're gonna install the pucks. Two man job here. Where's the top of it? Right here. This is the top right here. See? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> GoPro's gonna die. So we had to get a spring compressor because it's too big. After some time, we finally got it. These screen compressors. It was a bitch. What? Now we just gotta take it off. Technique. Oh, <laughs> it always happens. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Let's just pull it up, cause then it'll compress it and it'll give us more room. It'll lift. The, it'll lift the shock up. Why did you get the other side on? It was this, cause this oh, was loose, so it like I I was able to move it, like it wasn't in this the way of this. You feel me? Mm. So make sure that your axle is out of the way when you get in here, or else it'll keep losing the bolt, like we did. But um, now we just tighten it up. So get this back in there. And call it. All right. Now we have both the strut, springs, 
bump stops, everything's installed. Now we're just reconnecting the sway bar. All right, slight problem we had. Our, our bolt here for the sway bar, we are, they were stripped, so we had to re-thread them and put new bolts in. I don't know if you can see it, but they're new. But it's there. Now, we are gonna just put the tires back on and then do the front. Moment of truth. This is on top of my head. Damn, sorry. That is a. Yeah, we're done. Bro, I can fit my head in here. I do got a small ass head though. Now we're just gonna remove these brackets for the ABS line from here, here, and this one here. It's actually a 10. Now it's going to be this bracket. I think this is 13. So now we're just removing this uh, bolt to release the end link. It's giving us some trouble. All right, now back to removing these Allen keys and then these. Up here with the Allen key and then these. So now once you remove the top you're gonna have to remove the brake line brackets and the upper control arm bolt you should grab it with the other side with the yeah so remove the bracket first and then that way you can get it out of the way so you can use the impact gun to remove that and hold the other side with the ratchet and then we get upper control arm out of here Hey baby, trying to get rid of that oh, no, upper no, control no. arm. More? Yeah. You didn't go past it? This has to be more up. All right, hardest parts are done. Got rid of the upper control arm. Here it is. Completely exploded it with this thing. Anyways, now time to get this bolt out. And now we go through the hood. You know the hood, Louis? It's right there. Hitting the battery. <laughs> so now we're just gonna install this new one. You better do it in 10 seconds. Oh yeah. 
Are we moving the battery or what? Yeah, we're not moving the battery. We just removed the harness. Perfect. Now we grab our old bracket. And just hand tighten it. Perfect. Now we're going to remove the these bolts up top to get rid of the suspension. So we're going to be loosening these with a 14 millimeter socket or wrench or whatever the hell. A ratcheting wrench. Now with the top bolts gone, or nuts, I'm gonna remove this one. And hopefully we don't have to remove the sway bar because we did on the other side. But now he's gonna drop it. So it goes down. Perfect. Now we gotta remove this bolt. All right, can you hold this at the... upper control arm yeah so I can remove the suspension hopefully without ah, fuck yeah I think we need to remove the oh wait you know what yeah all right we're gonna loosen this way bar with Now you gotta make sure that it's aligned. All right, we got it in. Right there. About fucking time. All right, now where's the nut? Found it. All right, now we put the upper control arm in the So now we just put everything back in. 
So the brackets go back in, up here, we're gonna reconnect the sway bar, reconnect the spindle, and then wheels back on. So I'll just time lapse. <laughs> This one needs to get tightened. These are tight, that's good. up so it's the following day and i forgot it was too dark to do it and i couldn't see anything but uh you have to also remove some of the fuses to get rid of that air suspension off light so in order to do that you have to remove in here and I'll uh, send I'll show a picture of what I removed 
And then, you go down here, and this one it says 20 amp taps. It should be this one right there. Now you just cover this back up and let's see. No air suspension light anywhere. So that's perfect. Just what we wanted. And there you go. That's pretty much it. Um, I am going to probably make another video about like a little review of the suspension after I've had it for a little bit, take it on a couple trails and see how it rides. But I'll just show you some uh, walk around shots really quick. We'll get better ones later. Over here. You can't really see the IMS, but there it is with the springs. And I still need to replace the ones on the front. I'm probably just gonna do it right now. She's sitting pretty. So on top of replacing my suspension, you need to get new bump stops. And I forgot to install the front ones. So here they are. And I don't believe you need to take your tire off for this, but I might be wrong. If you have to, then you have to. If not, I'm not going to. I don't have a jack on me that fits this part anymore, but show you how to do it. I'm under, under the car now, turn the tire all the way to the right so I can get to the driver's side bump stop. And here it is. It is super tiny. And we're gonna be putting these on. So, big difference. Okay, after a good while, just uh, with some channel locks, just Go ahead and loosen this up. So, mine are on there pretty good. I got that. I got the wheelers off-road and it came with the allen key and new bolts so we're just gonna open that up goes underneath and with that provided allen wrench our key we're just gonna make sure it's in all the way and then just uh, put this in that, uh, that factory spot. Call it a day.
You know what? I think I'm gonna need a jack, so. Don't recommend this. I got my tire up on here because I needed to droop it a little bit. And, um. Don't recommend this because I'm right underneath the car. I'm just doing this quick. If you have a jack, use a jack. Just because there's not enough room. So, I'm a noob, but if there's a better way to do this, then please let me know. But, uh, it's, I know it's a really easy job. All you gotta do is turn a wrench or an allen key, but for some reason, I'm just kind of slow and impatient. Which is, uh, impatience is probably my worst flaw. Because I just want things done, but these things need to be done the right way. I know I'm doing it the right way, it's just, um, since it didn't work first try, I get upset. And it's harder than it, to unscrew it than I thought. It's just annoying, but it's okay. I hope they don't call the cops on me again for just installing bump stops. Anyways, um, this is a pretty simple job. It's just tedious. Oh, there you go, now it fits. So my Allen key kept hitting the top part of this lower control arm, so I couldn't do a full 360. And that was bothering me. <laughs> but it's pretty straightforward now. Just keep tightening it and tightening it until it doesn't go. So, still doesn't go around that axle. Okay, I'm trying to just a Good more, as much more as I can. All right, it's on there. And it's not going nowhere. So now that is up on a curb. Not the smartest decision by me, but <laughs> um, good thing this is kind of quick, so basically just the same thing on the other side so I'm just gonna do that so I don't have to worry about the camera but that's pretty much it it's really simple um, some things you decided to figure out so I just use the channel lock and then the provide an Allen key and that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching and um, I'll post some more things soon thanks